بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اسٹارٹنگ وتھ دی نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ مرسیفل اینڈ موسٹ بینیفیشیس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو پریزنٹ آ ڈاکومنٹری آن بادشاہی موز ود مائی ٹیم مہین فاطمہ ربیہ اینڈ ہانیہ انڈر دی سپرویژن آف شہزابر سعید Shahi Mosque is Mughal era mosque in Lahore, capital of Pakistani province Punjab. Mosque is located to west of Lahore Fort along the walled city of Lahore and considered as one of Lahore's most iconic landmarks. The entrance to the mosque lies on the western side of Azuri Bagh and faces the famous Alamgir Gate of Lahore Fort. The mosque is located next to Rojnai Gate. Near the entrance of mosque, the tomb of Dr. Alama Muhammad Iqbal lies. The tomb of Sikandar Hayat Khan also lies near the entrance. Sikandar Hayat Khan had a great role in preservation and restoration of mosque. Bajai Mosque was constructed by Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb between 1671 and 1673. Mosque is important example of Mughal architecture with an exterior decorated with carved red sandstones with marble inlay. It remained the largest mosque of Mughal era and also second largest mosque in Pakistan. After the fall of Mughal Empire, Mosque was used as garrison by the Sikh Empire and British Empire. On 7th July 1799, the Sikh army of Ranjit Singh took the control of Lahore. After capture of city, Ranjit Singh used the courtyard of mosque as a stable for his army horses and 80 hujras used as quarter for his soldiers and magazines for his military stores. In 1859, British seized the control of Lahore from Sikh Empire. During British Raj, mosque and its adjoining fort continued to be used as military garrison. The 80 cells built into the walls surrounding its west courtyard were demolished by British after the Indian Rebellion of 1857 so as to be prevent them from being used for anti-British activities. Because of increasing resentment against the use of mosques as a military garrison, British government set up a Bajshai Mosque Authority in 1852. to oversee the restoration and to re-establish it as a place of religious worship. The building was officially handed over to Muslim community by John Darwancy, who was Viceroy of India. In 1919, a mixed Sikh, Hindus and Muslim crowd of estimated 25,000 to 35,000 people gathered in the mosque courtyard. in the protest after the Amritsar misery. Extensive repairs started off in 1939 onward when the Sikandar Hayat Khan began raising funds for mosques. The renovation was surprised by architect Nawab Alam Yar Jang Bahadur. The restoration work was completed in 1960 after the independence of Pakistan at the total cost of 4.8 million rupees. In 2000, marble inlay in main prayer hall was repaired. The full name of Mosque Masjid Abdul Zafar Mahyuddin Muhammad Alam Giz Badshah Ghazi is written with marble inlay above the vaulted entrance. One room of Mosque is said to contain hail from Holy Prophet حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسابی وسلم and حضرت علی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ The prayer chamber has a central or niche with other five small niches flanking it. The mosque has three marble domes. The largest one is present in the center of mosque. Both the interior and Exterior of the mosque is decorated with white carved marble. 
the chamber of each side of me prayer hall at contains room which are used for religious instruction the most can accommodate one leg worshiper in the prayer hall after passing through massive gate an expensive sandstone paved courtyard spread over an area of 2 lakh 76000 square feet courtyard can accommodate 1 lakh worshiper at a time mosque has well decorated and furnished courtyard at each of the four corner of mosque there are octagonal three story minarets minarets are made up of red sandstone each minaret is 196 feet or 60 meter tall each minaret is topped by marble canopy the main building of mosque also contain four smaller minarets each at each corner of the building That's all about Bashi Mosque in my point of view. Thanks for watching.